morning, everybody. We are here for one more science class. And uh, I ask all of you, please, to stand up for a word of prayer. Our Father, Church in heaven, I ask the Lord to bless all the students. Be with them, Lord. Prepare them for your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, let us go here and uh, correct this homework. It's um, 7 to 12. It's a very nice homework, one of the most beautiful homework. Okay, 7 to 12. Describe how spiders produce silk. Produce silk. So, a spider silk is produced in liquid form by silk gland in the abdomen and is transformed in a stress thread as it passes through spinnerets. So, spinnerets, you know, that doesn't have just in the spider, you have in other animal too. Uh, number eight. Which North America brown spiders has a bite that can be dangerous to human brown recruits? Number nine, explain the difference between dead long legs and the spider. So, a dead long legs has only two eyes. The spiders usually have what? Eight eyes. Dead long legs looks a constriction or waste between two body regions, spires have a constriction. Dead long leg does not have spinnerets, spires do. A dead long leg does not have booklands, spires do. So it's a very uh, unique animal, dead long legs. Now, uh, number 10. How the centipede and millipedes differ. So you have to make the difference because centipede uh, is poison. Look, centipede, flattened in body, long antenna, one pair of pairs of joint appendages per segment, and uh, wiggling movement. Millipede, round body, short antenna, two pairs of joint appendages per abdomen segment, is slowly graceful. Move motion now 11. So, and this one, don't forget, centipede is poison, millipede is not. Uh, they did the right here, but centipede is carnivore and millipede is herbivore. Now, 11. List three physical characteristics common to all mollusks, mollusks and give the purpose of each food. Used for locomotion. Visceral hump contains the internal organs. Mantle is skin like an organ that covers the visceral hump and off produces shell. 12. Describe the difference between the two body forms of a polyanthrate. Medusa. Free swimming, mouth and tentacles usually point downward. Polyp. Stationary with downward and attached to a hard surface, mount and tentacles point upward. So this is uh, 7 to 12. And the uh, next homework, um, you're going to be there on the 11. It's going to be 11.3. 11 uh, 11 Let me see here. That's going to be. Uh, 11.2, yes, 11.2, I'm sorry. That will be your next homework, page 412. We are getting to the end of this book. Okay, thank you.